and in Laos, Southeast Asia, in one of the longest underground river passageways in the world, a place inhabited by scorpions and snakes. I'm here looking for the world's largest spider. It's the size of a dinner plate. Venomous, aggressive, and lightning quick. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll get a chance to get my hands on it. Oh, look, 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 look. look. I'm Dominic Monaghan. All my life, I've been driven by two strong passions acting and wild creatures. Since I was a kid, I've dreamt of traveling the planet to get my hands on the rarest, scary, and most dangerous animals out there. And now, I finally have my chance. I'm in Vientiane, capital city of Laos. I get one of these and one of these. One of the most mysterious countries in one of my most favorite places in the world, Southeast Asia. Okay. I'm here looking for an animal that evokes the same type of feeling as the great white shark, the king cobra, the Bengal tiger. Here, I'll show you. This is the largest spider in the world the giant huntsman spider. These guys are massive. Their leg span can be almost 30 centimeters. And they're incredibly fast. So me catching one is going to be relatively difficult. These giants come equipped with huge fangs and venom used to incapacitate prey. And this animal was only discovered by Western science in the year 2000. So very little is known about the behavior of this mammoth spider. But we do know where to look, giant caves. To increase my chance of success, I'm heading to one of the largest caves on the planet. Nine kilometers of subterranean passageways only accessible by an underground river. Let's get moving. Before I hit the road, I want to make sure I get this mission off on the right foot. So since I'm expecting that my mission will be pretty problematic, I've come to this absolutely beautiful Buddhist temple. Locals here come to ask for certain things. They offer up things to the Buddha. Food, candles, flowers. And then they say a prayer for you and attach a bracelet. It's a really sweet thing. But they've probably given me 15 or 20 bracelets. And a chicken, evidently. I got all these bracelets. Hit the drum three times. Hit the gong three times. I think that's enough good luck for one day. Let's get moving. So with the Buddha hopefully on board, it's time to hit the road. My mission will take me to the Se Bang Phai Cave, a subterranean world that lies 350 kilometers southeast of Vientiane. But my first stop is the town of Takek. I'm heading there to meet a gentleman called Lipan, a local spider expert, someone who's had quite a lot of experience with the giant huntsman. So I'm hoping he's going to be able to teach me a little bit about this spider. The only unfortunate thing is Takek is about 300 kilometers in this direction. And even though the people on this bus are quite friendly, the seats are not that comfortable. So the bus just uh, stopped on the side of the road, and there is a ton of cars here. So let's go and have a look what's going on. How are you? Hello. Sabadi. 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 
โอเคเราขาวเราขาวเราขาววันเฮากินแล้วมันแซ่บอีกทีโอ้ That's your resident fire water. Oh, one for the crew. Yeah, come on, Frank. There you go, Frank. Get it down the hatch. People are so friendly in Laos. It's brilliant. Wow, I went high. That's crazy. Homemade fireworks. Look at all these people. Bring together a community. So I just spoke to someone who told me what this whole festival is all about. It's called a rocket festival. They're sending these huge fireworks up into the sky to ask their god for rain. Now for me, it might not be the greatest idea because I'm heading into a cave where a river is running through it, and if the water level rises, I might be in a little bit of trouble. It's good. Big. Always good to see that the guy that's built the biggest firework has probably had the most amount of firewood. Hello. <laughs> Holy smokes! The ground kind of vibrated a little bit. While they don't all launch as planned. I'm pretty sure the gods got the message loud and clear. If I'm going to get into that cave before the rains hit, it's time for me to get back on the road. The bus just dropped me off. t a k e k I believe, is about a 10-minute walk in that direction. But look at this; it's just absolutely stunning around here. I'm going to go check out the jungle. A few minutes in, I catch my first glimpse of an inhabitant of this forest. Oh, there's a big buffalo up here! Wow, look at the size of these animals and how well they blend in with the forest. I didn't see them until I was right up on top of them. They're extremely quiet for such a big animal. Not the type of animal that you usually associate with being in the middle of a jungle, but that was a cool experience nonetheless. See you later. We're going now. Oh, it's okay. It's a little strange to see a herd of buffalo in the middle of the forest, but I'm quickly learning that in Laos, expect the unexpected. Oh, look, 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 look! There's a snake. There's a snake. There's a snake. There's a snake. Yeah, come on, this way. This is a python. It's okay, buddy. This looks to me to be a reticulated python. It's all right. And right now. This snake is extremely strong. It's wrapping itself around me. I'm using all my strength just to keep her in this position. This looks like a juvenile. These guys can reach 15 to 20 feet. It's okay. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down, baby. These guys are ambush predators. They have rows and rows of teeth, about 100 teeth, backward-facing fangs. c h u c k it. I've handled my fair share of snakes before, but this time, I think I may finally be in over my head. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Hold it. Right now, she's in a defensive posture. This will allow her to strike whenever she wants. A strike by this snake would be extremely painful. It'd definitely be a two, maybe three-man job to get her off me. It'd be a lesson I wouldn't like to learn for sure. You can come a little closer for sure. Yeah, it's all right. Stay right there. Stay right there. She's onto you now. Right, she's onto me. That's you, good there, Frank. She's just feeling a little surrounded, as she should do. It's all right. Good hit, though. See how close that was. That was good. Let's see if I can get her to move a little bit. Wow, she's almost goading me into grabbing her tail. Because look where she's putting her head. A smart snake for sure. If I get any closer, she's gonna strike. s h e try to find an exit. It's all right. It's all right. I know. Come on. Ah, gotcha. Whoa, she bit herself. 
She looks like she's shed her skin pretty recently, to be honest. Her skin is almost iridescent. It kind of glows. And the markings are beautiful. And even though she's trying to bite me, trying to attack me, it's just a real privilege to be hanging out with an animal like this in the wild. I just love it. I don't want her to get too excited. I don't want to heat her up too much. I'm probably just going to leave her here. She's very close to this water. She can leave in any direction that she wants. But it was excellent hanging out. You're cheeky. Take it easy. Thank you for that last parting gesture. I'll see you later. So this is Takek on the banks of the iconic Mekong River over here. Wrestling with that python's kind of giving me a little bit of an appetite. Street food is everywhere, all over Asia, and these guys are selling frogs. Where are the French when you need them? Chicken feet, little different pieces of chicken. That's some sort of, like, catfishy thing. I actually don't fancy meat that much. I'm, I think I might like some noodles or something like that. This store looks kind of fun. Let's have a look what's in these pots. Is that buddy? This actually looks pretty good. Fish soup. It smells spicy. Different types of meat. Garlic. And then, oh, that's the one. Look at the colors of that. Can I get one of this? And then some sticky rice? You know, the great thing about street food is it's, it's one of the freshest ways that you can eat when you're traveling. I don't really eat in restaurants too much when I'm in Asia. Not only that, but I'm going to guess that these ladies have made this food. So this is something that, you know, they have a lot of personal pride about. Okay. Bye-bye. It's pretty epic. Curry on the banks of the Mekong River. Heck of a day today. All these things are fun and it's great color and it's part of what it means to travel. But it's not why I'm here. I'm here to find the giant huntsman. Not until I finish this food, though. With lunch done, it's time to meet Lee Pan. You Lee Pan? Yeah, yes. Hey, I'm Dominic. Yeah. He spent years in caves you. studying the spiders of Laos. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Yeah. This is a, Oh, yeah, of course yeah, this is yeah. ours. Look. Yeah, yeah. It's I knew this was night. my tuck tuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Li Pan is one of a handful of people who's faced the giant huntsman in the wild. They're very big. Yeah, it is very big, around uh, 30 centimeters. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Given the huntsman's size, I need to brush up on my spider stalking skills before I take on one in Say Bank Phi. And Li Pan agreed to show me the ropes in a smaller, more easily accessed cave, 40 kilometers east of Takek. If uh, we are right to the cave, I will be to show, show you for the uh, catch the spiders. But first, we need to make an important pit stop. Li Pan thinks that if I'm going to survive this mission, I must learn about a hidden killer I'll face as I travel deeper into the jungle. So that's where we're headed now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Each year, this deadly holdover from the Vietnam War kills or maims hundreds of Laotians. Sabadi, how are you? I'm Dominic. My name is Pon Sai. So we have reported from the farmers that they found BLU, or bomblets, in their paddy field. During the Vietnam War, millions of bombs were dropped on Laos. It's believed that one third didn't detonate. Is that a bomb crater there? Yes, bomb crater there. Wow, yeah. this one's huge. Wow, look at that one. Yeah. It's crazy, man. So, like, these farmers here that are working on this field with this piece of machinery, yeah. if they were to drive over a, a, a bomb, is, there's a pretty good chance that it would explode. Yeah. What, what uh, if I stood on it? It is depend on, because if you chart it's uh, hard enough, it's going to explode it. And where I'm headed is one of the most heavily bombed areas of the country. Oh, so you guys are already working on this area? Yeah, we prepare to destroy this one. Which, this? Yes. That, uh, that little bomb? thing? Yes, that's a bomblet. That's crazy, something that small. I mean, it is, it's the size of a tennis ball, and that would kill you, definitely. Kill yeah, you. definitely. It might not look like much, but this tiny bomb detonates with enough force to shred anything within a 25-meter blast. So what's the process here? What do you guys so do? The, our process, we will put a plastic explosive on one detonator, 
Right, so you, you create a controlled explosion. Yes. All right, well, should we get rid of this? Yeah. Cool. So we're nice and safe behind this huge rock. We're about 170 meters away, something like that. And after all the preparations that have taken place, we're ready to go. So I'm just waiting for the three, two, one. This is the exciting bit. Three, two, one, five. Sweet. Oh, wow. That was a heck of an echo. Success? Yes. Wow. So that was a pretty significant explosion because there was about four or five pretty big sandbags there. The detonation was powerful enough to rip these tiny bags to shreds. You can actually see over there the remains of one of them yes. up on that little hill. That was on the floor. It's now safe to take a closer look at the deadly contents of the bomb. This is just like, it's like razor sharp pieces of fragmented metal just cut right through you. So he managed to safely detonate that bomb, but they are littered all over this country. Absolute nightmare for the farmers around here and for me. Not only am I going to have to have my wits about me with all manner of dangerous animals out there, but now I've got unexploded bombs to deal with. Oh, Laos. My crash course in bomb identification completed, it's time to get this mission back on track. Lipon's leading me to a cave where I plan to hone the skills I'll need for my encounter with the giant huntsman. Lipan? Okay. Just check in. But along the way, I can't resist the opportunity to have a little look around the jungle. I don't know what made this hole, but there's something pretty big. Oh, cool. Cool, look at this, look. That's a pretty big, fat, healthy-looking scorpion. Let's see if we can grab hold of this little guy. It's a good idea to not just stick your hand towards a scorpion and shock it, because then you're going to get pinched or stung. So I'm actually going to just grab a branch. This looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get this guy. I don't want to spook this guy too much, put him in a bad mood. Oh, he's a little bit of a scaredy cat. This guy has got absolutely massive pincers. If I annoyed this guy enough, he'd probably grab hold of me with both of his pincers, and then his sting would come right over the top of his body, and he'd jab me. They are venomous, obviously. Not deadly, but not pleasant covered in armor plating. These guys are definitely tough. If you look at this scorpion, I mean, it's, it's a little tank, you know? So I don't want to tire this guy out too much. These guys are nocturnal, and I've woken him up in the middle of the day, so I'm going to put him back. But it was nice to meet you. Thanks for being cool and friendly. All right, let's see where Lipon is. An hour later, we finally arrive at our destination. This is it. Yeah, we just alight to the cave at uh, Tam Kamus. Look at that cliff face. Just stunning. Crystal clear water. And as you can hear, a lot of frogs. All right, let's go. Yeah. Lipon tells me that there are dozens of species of huntsman spiders in Laos. And while he's never found the giant variety here, this cave's crawling with smaller relatives. I'm hoping to get my hands on one of these guys before I tangle with the giant huntsman later in my quest. Wow. This cave is huge. It's like a cathedral in here. Yeah. In a lot of the other caves that I've been to, because water doesn't flow through, it has a real kind of sense of stale air and 
dankness, but because so much water is flowing through this cave, it actually smells really, really fresh. So, Lipan, yeah. where did the huntsmen live usually in the cave? On the walls or yeah, on the yeah, floor? Yeah, on the wall and uh, sometimes on the uh, channels on the cave. Like under... This look like... Yeah. Oh, like crevices, okay. like crevices. Let's say I saw it on this uh -huh. wall here. Ah. What would, you, what would you do? You can catch by your hand carefully. If you uh, don't know how to catch, you can call to me. Okay. Yeah. I'll shout, Lipon! Yeah, 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 you can call to me. Lipon's caught dozens of different spiders in this cave, and it's easy to see why. This place is crawling with life. Look at this cute little camouflage frog right here. Beautiful mottled design. Looks like a tree frog. He's got these little dimples at the end of his feet, which allow him to hold on to stuff, very similar to a gecko. He's probably just waiting for it to get a little later, a little darker, and they don't go hunting. Beautiful. I'm seeing all these little kind of lines falling down here. Look, you can see right here. See these little lines hanging down off the cave wall? Well, this is no accident. These are some sort of trip lines to a flying insect. It's gonna come along, hit these little sticky lines. Oh, it's like hair gel, <laughs> which is interesting because I've been getting it in my hair when I've been walking. And something will feel that vibration and know which particular line has been sprung and they'll come down, hoik it up and have some food. But brilliantly placed for a flying insect to just bang into it. Pretty big cave cricket right here. Oh, look, look, look. This is a very cool looking cave dwelling animal. There you go. This guy right here is called a vinegaroon or a whip scorpion. And this crazy looking tail, which has got these very fine hairs on it, is a, a sensory organ. And when this thing gets stimulated enough, it can actually produce this emission from here that smells and tastes really quite like vinegar. You can smell it. It's, um, it catches the back of your throat in the, in the same way that ammonia might. That's a defense mechanism when something comes along to eat it. They're perfectly adapted to live in caves. They have these modified legs at the front of their body. They'll stick these legs out and feel around in their world. When something comes close enough, they'll rush towards it. And these big, gnarly looking pincers will grab hold of the prey animal and keep it still. Very peculiar looking creature, but I think it's kind of cool. As cool as this guy is, we've come in search of spiders, and so far, nothing. But deeper into the cave, something seems to have caught Lipan's attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. I found a spider, yeah? No? Okay, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, coming. Yeah. Spider, spider. Is it a huntsman? Yeah, yeah, this is the huntsman. Where? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. But Look this that. is juvenile. Look at that camouflage. Yeah. If you like to keep, you can just bend your hand and pull. You try? Uh, yeah, I'll try. Might only get one go. These guys are fast. But this is a pretty big spider. All right. Got it. Trying to be as gentle as possible with this guy. This is my first interaction with a huntsman, which is the reason why I have to hold the spider in such a controlled way, but not hurting the spider at all. Lipon can tell from the bands on its legs that it's a huntsman, but despite its size, this guy's still a baby, and I've come all this way to get my hands on a fully grown adult. 
This is nowhere near as big as they get. Got a pretty significant set of fangs on him. But I've been told that a bite from a spider, even this big, is really painful. Feels like two pins going into your flesh. Not a spider that I would like to be bitten by. But this is a great way for me to gain a little bit of experience, you know, start off with a slightly smaller spider and then build up to something bigger. A full-size huntsman can reach 30 centimeters. I'm gonna put this guy back. That was a great find. Thanks, dude. Yep. Very cool. That was my first brush with the huntsman spider. Sweet. With this experience under my belt, it's time to kickstart the final phase of this mission. I'm now on my way, on this bumpy road, to a place called Bawala Lampala, a tiny village that lays a short trek from the lair of the giant huntsman. There, I'll be met by world-renowned spider expert, Peter Yeager. In the last 10 years, he's discovered 200 different types of spider. And if anyone can help me find the giant huntsman spider. It's gonna be this guy, Peter. 80 kilometers and six very long hours later, I finally reach my destination and head out in search of my spider expert. I've arrived at the village, or a village. Hopefully this is the village. Sabadi. Cute little kids, man. Hello, Sabadi. Oh, look, there's a little lizard. That can't be just sat there. Oh, it's tied up. In this part of the world, they eat lizards. Let me see if I can get this lizard and maybe we can set it free. This mammoth lizard is the clouded monitor. And while he may taste great, I can't bear the thought of this beautiful animal ending up on somebody's plate. Hi. Is that your, is that your lizard? Were you going to eat it? Yeah? C can I give you money for it? For the lizard? Um, what have we got here? 50? Ah, uh, all right. A Hun uh, hundred. Yeah? OK. Um, sweet. Just walked a little bit out of the village to this nice-looking tree, because monitor lizards are expert tree climbers. So I'm going to let him go. Now, if I put him down and hang on to the string, he might exhibit a little bit of the aggressive kind of behavior that he's known for. As you can see, when they need to be, they're pretty fast and strong as well. Look at that tongue. You don't want to get bitten by a lizard like this. You have a pretty chunky set of teeth. And when they bite, they'll kind of latch on and then they'll just keep moving their head left and right, left and right. So it's a pretty awful bite. So I'm just going to grab him by the back of the head and untie him. Nice. There you go, buddy. Now I've just got to grab his back legs. Nice. So that is a pretty full-grown adult clouded monitor. And what a handsome lizard he is. And it's probably called the clouded monitor because of this coloration on its underbelly. I'm just going to risk showing you his back legs, because if he digs these into me, it's incredibly painful. These legs are like dragon claws. And they use these to dig up some of their prey rats and mice and things like that. He's actually got a couple of little ticks. I don't know if you can see these little parasites that will be sucking on his blood. And if I've stressed him out a little bit by grabbing hold of him, I want to actually do him a favor and just get rid of some of these ticks for him. Look at that. Nasty little guy. Gnarly little parasite. These ticks won't kill this lizard, but they will drain a little bit of his energy. I feel like he knows that I'm doing him a favor. 
You want to go climb that tree? Or you want to bite me in the face? Can I want to bite me in the face, huh? Having saved this guy from the dinner table, it's time to find my spider expert. It's a whole bunch of people here. What's going on? Oh, it's fireworks. It's like the fi it's the firework thing from the other day. This must be happening all over the country right now. This must be Peter, right? Here. Peter. Hi. Hey, how are you, man? You must be Dom, eh? Nice to meet you. Peter's one of the world's foremost spider experts and a man who will guide me to the Cave of the Huntsman. This cave should be really great. And this is... One of the largest active river caves. Right. And, this happens... and although he's been in dozens of caves before, he's a little spooked about entering Sebong Fai at this time of year. When the rain comes down, the river is coming up, and then it's dangerous in the cave. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you can imagine that in the, in the rainy season. It must be hellish, right? It's hell. Once again, the locals are calling on the gods to bring on the rain. Here we go, and rocket. Oh, Check my god. Fuse got lit. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it may have gone out. <laughs> Worst possible scenario. Rocket goes out, and a whole bunch of men are debating over who's going to go over and check to see yeah. if it's actually gone out. It actually might be a good sign here, because I guess the rains won't come if this rocket doesn't go. This up. would be perfect. This would be perfect. This is the worst fireworks display I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> you should volunteer, Peter. <laughs> go over and light that thing. <laughs> wow. Cool. While the locals finally get their message to the gods off, Let's just hope they don't send the rains for another 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, we'll try and enter a giant flood-prone cave with crocodiles, snakes, and fingers crossed, the giant huntsman. Thankfully, the gods have decided to hold off the rains, and our arduous trek to the cave is done under sunny skies. This is one of the most biologically diverse places on the planet and it doesn't take long to run into one of the locals. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, yeah look, there's a little... To, you have to be careful with it. Oh, man, that is a beautiful little snake. I'm just a spider man. I have no experience with snakes. Well, let me see. It's yeah. actually a, a tiny little snake. Let me, uh, let me grab a stick or something. Keep an eye on it, Peter. Yeah. Um... Well, I think it's a viper. You should be careful with it. OK. Well, let's have a look. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful little snake. Now, I'm just going to see if I can hook myself in with this guy. I know, little dude. Wow. Look wow. at this gorgeous little snake. That might be one of the most beautiful snakes I've ever seen. This is the green tree viper. And he's in this strike position right now, so I can't get too much closer to this snake, otherwise he'll fire out, and they have an extremely fast strike. It's OK, buddy. It's all right. It's a one that I saw it in this foliage here. He's just perfectly camouflaged to sit in that bush, in an ambush position, and wait for something a little threatening, like me, brush past probably with my leg at this level, and it would strike, I probably wouldn't feel too much more than a little nick, and then some excruciating pain not too far after that. Despite the size, this little guy packs a deadly punch. And these guys are venomous. This little snake has a hemotoxic venom. That is a venom that affects your blood. And depending on where you get bitten, you'll probably lose that part of your body, finger, possibly a hand. Now he's on the move. Oh, that was close. In the, in the blink of an eye, he, like, completely elongated and was really close to my hand. Gorgeous little thing. Green tree viper. I'm going to put this little guy back where I found him. But that was an excellent find by Peter. 
As nasty as that guy's bite could be, right now the viper is the least of my worries. My mission is to handle the venomous giant huntsman spider, and as we get closer to the cave, I press Peter for a few tips. You know more about this spider than pretty much everyone, right? Yeah, I've been here for a night, nine times in Laos. Mm. So I saw them many times. So if I'm going to hope to catch one of these spiders, yeah. what can you tell me about their bite? Actually, not much. So I've never been bitten by this species, but by smaller huntsman spiders. The fangs are really huge of the mm. Heterobota maxima. This massive giant spider has probably a proper amount of venom. Right. And who knows, yeah. the venom could be more effective yeah. on humans, right? So, I'm about to enter a cave a day's trek from any medical help to handle a giant spider that's venom may or may not be lethal to humans. But there's no time to worry about that now because we've just reached the mouth of the Seibong Fai cave. Wow, look at this entrance. Wow. wow. That is... That is stunning. Like 70, 80 meters. Wow. Wow. And beyond this massive opening, the cave extends for an incredible 9.5 kilometers. So there's no other way into the cave apart from river? Yeah, we have to go by the river first. So it's time to break out the inflatable kayak. Good job, here. Well done. I'll just clap to the rhythm. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> What about other animals to be mindful of in the cave? So there might be some scorpions. OK. Oh, there also might be some vipers in, snakes. And they're really nasty. I heard there might be crocodiles in this cave. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, didn't you tell me before? <laughs> <laughs> if you bite in this boat, <laughs> well, we are gone. Come on. Nah, they're OK. They're scared of red, so we should be all right. <laughs> or you can just jump in. That's you, 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 I'm a Spider-Man, come on. I guess, since this is a cave that not that many people have been in, we're not sure what's in this cave. Yeah, due to the remoteness, there were only a few expeditions until now, but actually not many. So probably we find a spot in this cave where have never, ever been people before. Wow. I'm probably able to find a new species, so this is really cool. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. been in a situation where I could do that before. Oh. Maybe we can call the new species the, uh, the Dom and Peter species. <laughs> Dom Peterus. <laughs> Almost done, right? Yeah, it's pretty much done. What do you reckon? Cool. Oh, OK. I will push it. Just slide it. OK. That could be perfect. It's an epic way to enter into a cave. Yeah. So this is it. Somewhere in Laos, heading into one of the largest underground rivers in the world via a huge cave. Fingers crossed it takes us straight into the lair of the biggest spider on the planet. So in a cave this big, Peter, what's going to be the plan to find the spider? Usually, you know, they love rocky places where there's some crevices where they can hide. When we find a, such a spot, we can probably get out and search. I think this area would be perfect. Probably between these two rocks you see, Don. Yeah. yeah. You know, easiest it is to spot the light there. You can see? See these eyes? Yeah. You see the eyes just shining? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is exactly what I, what I wanted to show you. It's a huntsman. This is actually not Heteropoda maxima. Heteropoda maxima has this banded pattern on the legs. Mm -hmm. But here's no pattern. And the eyes are reduced in size. This means that this creature and the species has lived for a long, long time in this cave. There are hundreds of different species of huntsmen. And as we watch this guy, I see for myself how they earn the name. Oh. 
Wow. Well, I feel like that was kind of a little piece of good luck to find a spider like that straight yeah. off the boat, you know? Yeah, so, right, you are. So, there will be spiders around here. Let's yeah. keep looking, I guess. Yeah. Despite our great start, the trail soon grows cold. So it's back to the kayak to search for better hunting grounds. Hey, Peter. Yeah? Does that sound like rapids to you? It sounds. Yeah, it might be. Uh, I heard there are five rapids in this long cave. Running rapids in the dark seems like suicide, so we decide to paddle to solid ground. Something easier said than done in this current. Whoa. So those rapids just sound a little bit too hectic for our little kayak, so we're gonna continue on foot. But, might not be the worst thing in the world. More chance of seeing the spider out of the boat anyway. Cover more ground, Peter and I decide to split up. We're now kilometers within this cave, and it feels like we've left the normal world far behind. So we're just off the boats. You can actually hear the rapids. Not too far away. Any time that I've spent in caves, it's just like being on a different planet. Alien planet where humans really don't belong. I also have to be pretty careful about the steps that I take. Because if I turn my ankle in a place like this, I'm gonna be in trouble. You know, we understand our world with our eyes so much. And in a cave, whoa, we really are in a weakened position. Because if I turn off my light, I can't see anything. Well, let's have a look. Let's see if we can find anything in this cave. After hours of searching, I've reached the heart of this cavern, and there's still no sign of the giant huntsman. With just minutes remaining before I have to turn back, I see something very, very large moving in the shadows. Spider, spider. Oh, wow. That is the giant huntsman spider. It's massive. That is a huge spider. All right, here we go. Okay, dude. Not gonna hurt you. Just gently bending back her legs so that I can pick her up safely. Woohoo! Look at this thing and the fangs on this thing. Unbelievable. Those things will definitely give you a pretty good stabbing. But what a beautiful spider and just huge. You know, when I was like a little kid, six, seven, eight year old kid, I was pretty scared of spiders. And this is the spider that can cause a lot of nightmares to people because it's just so huge. The shame is that I have to hold it like this, you know, it's a little awkward for such a beautiful looking spider. But to be honest, up to now at least, this could be famous last words, it's quite a gentle spider. It's not doing anything too, too hectic. I'm gonna just push my lock a little bit now because I have been holding this spider in a slightly stressful position 
And if I'm gonna get bitten by this spider, it's gonna be now. I'm gonna see if it wants to just sit on my hand. That is a huge spider. Spider could bite me whenever she felt like. And to be fair, if I was in her position, I probably would. But she's, she's behaving amazingly. The chances of this spider ever being handled by a human before, I would say are nil. It's exciting. It's really exciting. Whoa. This is freaky. Because it's like raising up. When she's in this hunched position, it's really quite unnerving because when a tarantula gets up on its haunches like this, the next thing it does is slams its mandibles back down into your skin. But I don't think that's what this spider's doing. I think she's just using this opportunity to clean herself. So this wild, huge spider seems to be happy enough on my hand that it's just giving itself a little, a little bath. A wild experience, to say the least. I'll never be fearful of taking a spider out of someone's bathtub again, regardless of how big it is. I'm gonna let this amazing animal go now. She's been incredibly respectful of me up to now. And I'm gonna to attempt to do the same, so I'm just gonna let her go in the exact same place that I found her. The spider with the largest leg span in the world the giant huntsman spider of Laos. But a gentle giant. Doesn't get much cooler than that. The rains didn't come. I managed to avoid being bitten and envenomated by snakes. And I took a stunning riverboat trip into one of the most remote caves in the world. I got my hands on the largest spider on the planet. Guess I'll be wearing these bracelets a little bit longer. I knew I'd love Laos. <laughs>